can't fuck with it. Anything good? Shawty. We good? Yeah, bro. It was definitely hard to get that interview. It's literally like, I don't know how I feel about verified niggas. Like, them niggas just feel like they just can do just everything else that we can't do. Like, nigga, how are you going, how am I going to DM you and be like, yo, what day are you free? And then, like, you just hit me with the double tap. <laughs> like, what the fuck type shit is that? Like, At this point, you need an assistant. For oh, real, for real. Hell, like, niggas just be doing yeah, anything. Yeah, assistant to run your page. Like, if you can't keep up with your fans and people that's trying to network with you and stuff like that. Because I understand people probably get busy and stuff like that, but you still got to, you know. Nobody's busy for a week straight. They take some time for themselves. It's true. You're never too busy for the things that you want or the time that you want to make for people, stuff like that. I You're never too that. busy for the time you want to make for yourself. So, like, that's why I just feel like if you got that time to yourself and you see that fucking, you feel that fucking vibration, I know you got mm-hmm. your notifications on, bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they just be acting like they in a whole different league. Like, we don't got to download the same shit in the app store. Mm, mm, mm-hmm. Fuck them niggas, Q. Mm-hmm. We going? Hey man, number number one podcast on the motherfucking earth. We got another banger. My rear current. I, I guess we can call each other BFF. 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 This is my BFF. Passion A. <laughs> we in this bitch. Q in the back. Hit the fucking applause shits. <laughs> we in here. We got one more banger. Hey. How how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm cool. I'm just a nigga. You know how that shit go. <laughs> Q, Q know how that shit is. <laughs> Black man in Baltimore. Uh, we, we we it's been like what like a month since the last time we talked. Mm-hmm. What's like what's up with you? You go, like tell me what's. I mean, business is still going. Um, remember we supposed to do Fridays every Friday, taking it at a pace right now. Um, we're just gonna be doing it at a pace basically. You feel what I'm saying? Can't rush the process. Um, at the end of the day, I started. Um, right now, I'm just trying to build my name up, build the clientele up, you know, and just take my time building what I want because I want it to live. So I can't rush the process at the end of the day. So it's just a lot of things that change. Like, um, for instance, like um, I'm not so far of going to invest into the girls so fast no more mm. um, because some of the girls that was with me before when we was talking, they're not with me no more. For Some real? of them, they laugh. Please tell me Unique's still there. Oh, Neek Neek's still there. <laughs> yes, sir. Neek Neek's still there, yeah. Okay. Um, Henny's still there. Good. Chalk is still there. Okay. Um, But now that's just in Dior. That's it. Everybody else is just basically I allow girls to come and dance. And once I fill them out and we build a relationship or bond and I see you serious about being with my company, then I may think about investing into you because I can't take that risk no more. Like, that's a lot of money I just spent, and then you want to just dip Leave. or, you know, it's just crazy. But it's a live and learn, you know, you know lesson. It took me, it took me like the last time I listened to our podcast, and then like, like, and I was listening to it, 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 like, listening to like how you conduct your business, like, it really made me think, like, nigga, this sound like a record label, like, just like. It's an entertainment company. It sounds like a record it's label. A, it's the same company. You know, I, I, I now, as I was telling you earlier when I came in here, I have my very first artist now that I'm managing. His name is Chain Wayne. Shout out Chain Wayne. That's my first artist that I'll be managing. So, like I said, it's an entertainment company. I have dancers, models, and entertainers. Hell, so how did you get in this bag of being a manager? Um. Well, I've been following him for a long time. But prior to that, before I even thought about managing him, I've been – Posting people, promoting people. I I've done tell. a radio station with a prior friend, um, YC1029 Radio. I used to find artists to put on a radio station. I would go live, let them play their music. Whoever had the best song, I would let you have your song played on rotation for, for a month. That's nice. Stuff like that, you know. Um, so I've been, like, doing little stuff here and there. But like I said, um, I don't know. I just seen he he had it, but he don't have no videos. He never did no shows. His music not out there. Nobody know about him. So I'm like, yo, do you got a manager? Like, what you doing? You feel me? So that's how that conversation started. And he felt like I believed in him. He want me to manage him. So 
Plus, like, I personally feel like that was the perfect bad to get into because it's hella, it's hella rappers that we listened to growing up that popped off in the in the club type shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I definitely think you're getting into a little 50 cent bag type shit. Thank you, thank Have you. Have you been watching BMF? Oh, yes. We in that bitch. Juicy. <laughs> Have you watched the finale? Yes. Don't yo. tell me nothing about it. We haven't okay, watched okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Don't say quiet, nothing we quiet, yet. Oh, we quiet. Oh, we quiet. But anybody that didn't watch BMF, please go turn in. Because I've been Nigga. seeing too many posts on Facebook talking about I got a confession. I haven't watched BMF. <laughs> like, what? That nigga Q was in the back. Like, everybody died to end, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No. Me and Shorty been watching that shit. That shit's been hitting. Man, it's real good. It's real good. You didn't watch the last episode either? Yo, okay. shit. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Like, I'm kinda, Y'all watch it together? Yeah, That's yeah, how me and him is. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm kind of like, I feel some type of way about that Lil Meech nigga. Like, I was on Instagram. I find this nigga Lil Meech page type shit. I'm over that bitch looking through his pictures. I'm like, that's my girl. Like, liking his pictures. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hell no. I, got, I hope this nigga, I hope this nigga fail with everything he do now. Hey, yo, chill. <laughs> That's how I felt. I'm like, fuck you that nigga. You want to cut his water off. <laughs> nigga, if I see that nigga in person, I'm like, yo, my girl like you. <laughs> Smack his dumb ass. Oh, hey, like, yo. Q, Q know what I'm talking about. Hey, yo. <laughs> but, but shout out BMF. It's a good show. Yes, yes it is. Shout out to 50. Shout out to BMF. Shout out to the 50 boys. I was, Smith. Nick, when I was interviewing Leak, this nigga called himself the 54 boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing with him. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I need to, I'm getting too much money. I need to come over there. Let me, I was, I was over that bitch like, let me answer the calls or something. Not the 54 boys. <laughs> I'm not playing with that. That's what he said. That's what he said to me. But, um, if you don't, if you don't remember the, if you didn't, if you didn't watch the last episode, we have a club owner in here. We have a, a, a life mentor because she's been through enough to teach all you niggas and make all you niggas her sons. If you ask me, um, that's oh, that's really a bunch. We not, I'm not really gonna sit here and act you over like, oh, where you from, what you been through, right, type right, shit. Right. Right Go now, watch the last YouTube. Yeah, you missing out if you ain't watch that shit. Huh. But now I'm just, let's, I'm trying to capitalize off that shit, like ask you questions like that. That's that's from those questions type shit. Mm-hmm. But um, you never really told me how you got your name, like pa- how you got your Passion A Clubhouse type shit. The Passion A Clubhouse, well, Passion A basically, you know, came from my name. Mm-hmm. Um, I was already Passion A. That was my porn star name, so I stuck with that. You feel what I'm saying to basically brand myself. Mm. And um, I wanted to brand my name, so I stuck with Passion A. The Clubhouse came about because. Remember the Clubhouse app that was out? Oh, hell Everybody yeah. was into that, you know, and I, I always wanted, like, okay, I thought about, like, if I was to have something like that, it'd be, like, a bunny house type thing. So, but I also want to have, like, a club type thing. So that's where the Clubhouse came from. I ain't going to lie. I was definitely looking at the video on the, on the Halloween shit that I missed, like, fuck. What you think? I was like, we should have went. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, my Thanksgiving is gonna be more litter. Tell, let's we walk. Got, we got eleven girls. Eleven. Eleven how girls. You, how many did you have last time? Um, well, it was all my girls supposed to show up? But I only had three. Damn! What the fuck? Where are these? Where are these extra seven, eight, nine girls come from? Um, well, the ones that's new now. Yeah. Oh, they're they're not actually a part of like I told you before. They're not actually a part of the clubhouse. So now what I'm doing is I'm allowing girls to come to my events and dance. Mm-hmm. You still got tip out, but I'm not going to invest into you until I see your loyalty and your consistency, and that's, you trying to be really a part of my company. I think that's why I saw that. What's that girl named? That light skinned girl. Alonza Naya. Shit, that's a lot. That's two different names. Yeah, which one? <laughs> it was one you just posted or this Just week. posted? Naomi Amor? I think it was. She had, I don't know. Did uh, she have glasses on? Yeah. Naomi Amor. Shout out I to her. I gave her that name, too. You gave her that name? Yeah, I named her. <laughs> how, did you, how did you think of that name? How do you think of names? Like I don't it's, I, it's, I don't know. She just, I, she, she had the name Blue, and she was like she wanted a different name. So I looked at her, how she, she, she gives me like this exotic, but like a baby doll type thing, like a sweetheart. So I think Naomi Amor is pretty for her. Like, Naomi, Naomi Amor. Like, <laughs> I like that. So tell me, uh, that's a good ass name if you thank ask me. You, Did you just you. think of that shit like you were just sitting on the toilet, like you were just like, oh. No, I actually started Googling stripper names. Oh, shit. <laughs> I saw 
started um I started Googling stripper names. They had Naomi there and they had something or more. I can't remember what it was. It was something or more. So I was like, I like Naomi. I was like, what if Ni- I never heard Naomi or more? So I was like, Naomi or more. I asked her if she likes she was like, I love it. So that's how it was, it's, it's some bitch I used to fuck that was named Amore. I really can't even like that bitch can't We got Precious like. Amore from Baltimore, the rapper. No, I wasn't her. <laughs> That's the only other more I know from Baltimore. Never it's like mind. a Naomi now. Never mind. We on next question type shit. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what she <laughs> I told you, Wapinator, the first girl I ever met. My first kiss, all that shit. Team Wapinator, period. <laughs> Whoever you was. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like, she, she, she is probably, like, out of all the people that she's been here to help to be with me to interview, she's, like, your favorite type shit. Yes, of course. She's your favorite, for sure. Yeah. I can just, like, she won't tell me to her face probably. Would you tell me? Right. <laughs> Emma, Emma, she'll tell me. She'll tell me my face. <laughs> but, yeah, tell me how, it, walk, walk me through that night, Halloween. Uh, whew, Halloween night, so, of course, I did a little bit of last-minute cooking, had to cook. I had to do henny hair. I had to do henny makeup and lashes, then do my hair. I didn't get a chance to do my makeup. I just did my lashes and threw an outfit on with well, my costume. That was supposed to be a doctor costume, but if you watch the video, I, I didn't even have my doctor jacket on after I was too hot. Um, but when I got there, you know, started arranging, decorating, getting everything. My baby, tuh, my Shout baby, he was gone in the wind, okay? Oh, so he wasn't there? He, he no, he was there. He just had to keep going back and forth to grab food, bring it, pick oh, people so up, bring so them to was, the party. Q like, was your assistant that day. Yes. Hit the round of applause for Q. Hey yeah. Q, you that nigga, man. <laughs> I wanna be like you when I grow up, nigga, in my life. <laughs> nigga, I'm trying to be like that to my girl. I'm trying to be your assistant. Yo, Q, shout out to Q, yo. He that nigga. All right, if you can finish the story. <laughs> yo, you so stupid. So um anyway, so yeah, um so Got all that done. Once we get that done, you know, the girls was there getting ready. We had the people coming in. We had the security there, of course. Um, had my did, did any wild shit happen? Type oh, shit. no. It was Nigga a good night. With a pistol type no, shit. no, no weapons allowed. Security was on deck. They made sure nobody came in there with no foolishness. I and they was, they was inside as well. So, you know. I ain't going to lie. It was sure. good. I was on the mic all night. For real? Oh, yeah. You was, was like, you was like was, the MC type I shit. I was the hype. The hype man. The hype man. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. That's hard. Yeah, I was the hype man. And, Shorty, um, Shorty was definitely like, when we when I told her that we had an interview tonight, she was definitely like, damn, I wish I wish she would have broke with some of her girls from that night type shit. I know, right? I know. But, like I said, I only have, well, Dior didn't even come. The only ones that that's still with me that was at the party is Unique and Henny. They was the only two that was there that's still with me. Other than that, Alonza was there, but she's not with me no more. Please tell me that you was going to incorporate some of your entertainers into your own podcast. Of course. And my, um, I was thinking about doing it with my rapper as well. Incorporate him, want to do a podcast with him, do a podcast with them, all of that. So let's talk about this. So the people don't know, uh, we talked personally talking about something. You had some ideas, and I never really, we never really got into detail. Mm-hmm. Do you want to talk to it on air? No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Y'all niggas is missing out exclusive. Just know it's coming to the Blase Network. I'm excited. I mean. Is it coming to the Blase Network? We're going to go to another nigga that do podcast. No, don't chill, <laughs> y'all. Chill. All in my butt. Right here on camera. See how he is, y'all. I'm just saying. I had to but push you listen. down about it. <laughs> But no, see, the thing is, the only reason why I didn't really want to get into that is because, all right, the the podcast I did that I had, before I do that, I have to fix the relationship with my mother first. Mm. So it's going, I wanted to do something with females that has, they want to fix relationships with their moms, basically. Because it, it goes on a lot in our culture. That's lit. I you never know? thought of that. So I wanted to do that, like had him sit down and I could be like a mediator. But I got to heal with my mom first. I got to get our relationship right first before I can focus on somebody else's. Damn. So maybe I could bring me and my mom here, but my mother, she crazy. She was like, why are these cameras in my face? And then, then, then. She not going to be with none of this. So. I ain't going to lie. That's a good idea. Like, a nigga might try to buy that from me. I might have to add off you like a like some money. Like, I'm broke. Chain, let's get rich, my nigga. What we doing? Hey Q, let we, me. we trying we trying to live good, you feel me? You trying hey to get Q, out of Baltimore. Let me get your credit card number, <laughs> dummy. I'm trying trying to put her on. See, <laughs> let's go. So I know, but that's I'm, I, I, are you gonna let me produce that? Yeah, I'm down. 
that's lit. Like I'm excited for that. That's that's lit. the idea. When I to, remember, I told you I said I had an idea. Yeah, that I was remember. the idea. But I thought about it, you know. And I, I before I can do that with anybody else, I need to focus on myself first. But I think like if you do something like that, like it could be like you you can change it to like a show type of thing. Like you can have. You can have like therapy with moms like on like a Wednesday type shit. You can just have your regular show on like Thursday, like just like having like bring some niggas in, bring some bitches in, like mm-hmm. get a bottle. Like, I think you could do that. Yeah. I I think you can have your own show. Okay, okay, let's do it. I've been gave you. I've been gave you the. Donald. I know, but you know, I've been busy. You know, I've been busy with Cute. this with this business. You gave it the improvement of the podcast. Yeah, he been gave me the improvement. I I don't mind doing it. It's just like we all know. Besides, you know. We have our own personal lives. No cap. And I, I, I've been dealing with some personal shit. You feel what I'm saying? So I wasn't ready. You know, I wasn't re- I wasn't ready yet until I was ready to come and do that. And that's when I, that's when that's, I was going to hit you up. That's, that's the best answer I expect you to give me rather than like, oh, like I got shot type shit. <laughs> like, you know how niggas be cute. Niggas what be like, oh, fuck? my mother, my mother fell down the steps so I can't come. Like, <laughs> niggas be <you> saying anything. <laughs> What the hell? Niggas be saying anything. Like, I'm not playing with you. What the hell? Niggas just be like, oh, my fucking dog caught on fire. My <laughs> nigga, fuck your dog. Just excuses, excuses. But yeah, I definitely want to have, like, another, like, just with you type shit, I definitely want to have, I think you could do, like, a late night show type shit. You think you could do a late night show? What kind of late night show? Like what? talking about some adult shit. No, whatever, whatever you was, all the ideas you was just saying, like just, just a late night show talking about that type of stuff that you was just saying. I mean, yeah, as long as it's cool with my babe. But eventually, once I start working, I'm in my own car, so I'd be like, babe, I'm about to go up the the, the studio. <laughs> you can FaceTime me, so you know what exactly. I mean. Exactly. You know, you know what type of nigga I am. The first time y'all, the first time y'all pulled up, nigga, I had my nails painted. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Q was not worried about me. He not. <laughs> he not. <laughs> nigga Q not worried about me. <laughs> but no. But um. All right. So let's talk about more about this Thanksgiving. Like. All right. What's what's? Do you feel like? All right. Before I ask, before we go into the Thanksgiving, do you feel like your last event is going to be bigger and better than your next event? I feel like it's going to be better. I don't. I don't know about so much of bigger. I'm just hoping that all the girls show up that say they're gonna show up like they can but i can't planning and organizing Mm -hmm. i'm just hoping everybody you know for the girls show up when they supposed to um and just be there you know that's the only thing i can hope for other than that um just sell my tickets (laughs) (laughs) other than that like I, i feel like other than that everything gonna go good like um i feel like it may be a little bit better than last time because like i said i got more girls this time so think about it if i got 11 girls compared to that's like at least like having what i had like six girls last time 11 that's like that's a whole much more so if they if like four or five i still got more than last time so i'm I'm, when you said 11 girls i'm thinking like 11 girls meaning at least three three four niggas at least gonna throw at least three hundred dollars on each every one of them i'm hoping so i'm over this bitch adding this bitch you know I'm what i mean so. <laughs> i'm over here on my calculator like because honestly i feel like the way the party was last time if i had more girls there you know it the party probably would have been a little bit better did anybody start eating pussy on stage oh no it's none of that oh never mind it's, it, this is this is this is this a a club, okay? I don't do no soliciting at my party. Okay, never mind. No soliciting. Ain't no private. Ain't no that private room. That shit is illegal. You ain't eating no cool cheat now. Listen, if somebody doing that and look, that's their that's their business. Hey, we on we on the camera. I'm right not here. gonna go over we there. On, like, stop, stop. We on, look, listen, listen, listen. Wait, wait. Before you finish, we on the camera right here. Mm-hmm. So you can just say like, yeah, we don't do nothing illegal type shit. No, we okay. don't do nothing illegal. But I'm just saying. Oh. Okay. I'm just saying it ain't no soliciting nothing illegal going on in my events, but I know how strip clubs can be that's why i'm trying to make mine a little bit different but like i said if something like that was to happen so say say for instance i come downstairs and a girl on the floor and it's somebody <laughs> eating her out in front of everybody Shit. i'm gonna let it go down but when she's done gonna like, i'm gonna pull that was her up. up i'm gonna pull her up 
Security gonna have to pull him up, and they gonna have, we gonna let them know they cannot do that no more. Yo, gonna ban. Have you ever had to ban a nigga from life? Is that a real thing? You ban mean, a nigga from life? I meant like I meant my bad. I'm a little what fucked the? up. <laughs> I mean, I mean, can you, can you like, can you be like, yo, I, like, you ban a nigga for life. Like, you can't come to here for life. Yeah, you can ban somebody. That's hard. I haven't yet. I haven't had that, no. It's niggas I already, I'm already thinking of, like, I don't even want you to come around here. Like, I'm already, you already banned it. No, I ain't had nobody like that, um, yet. No, mm -mm. no. Oh, never mind then. Everybody come, they come, they be respectful, you know, they spend their money. Now, at the f the first party, like I said, they was a little stiff. I had to get on the mic like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> um, Dancing, stop dancing, ain't no money. Uh, we're trying not going to throw no money. What's going on? I felt that. And they start throwing some money. Nigga. <laughs> Shout out to Unique deserve that money, mm -hmm. if you ask me. Wasn't she the one in the schoolgirl outfit? Yes. All of them was in schoolgirl outfits. That was the thing. No, she had on the green shit, though. She had the green one on. Yes. Hey, yo, Q know what I'm talking Kenny about. Kenny had... What you mean he know what you talking oh, about? Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I don't know. Q know what no, no. Yeah, y'all probably looking at each other. Get, don't get Q, Q in trouble, Q, Q, Q okay? shaking his head. Q shaking his head. Do Q not get him in trouble. <laughs> Do not get him in trouble. <laughs> he trying to get you in trouble. This nigga you got to tell him to stop. This nigga came to the door like, baby, because you know I ain't on that shit. He got to go home with me. <laughs> well, never mind. I was the only one looking at you, Nick. <laughs> never mind. Well, I want to look like, what? Shorty, you know, you, know I, you know I'm only fucking with you. Fuck these bitches. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I don't really care because at the end of the day, like, I know who I am, so I'm not even tripping. You How do women saying? feel about three But don't play with me, Quentin. Oh, um, shit. She called your name, dummy. But next, what she said? How do, you, how do women feel about threesomes? How do we feel about threesomes? It all the, I'm, I, I can't speak for every woman. I can only speak for myself. Um, I don't have a problem with threesomes. I've done it before. That's hot. Um, but... Bands though I experienced it, do I trust everybody? No. And bands though I am now someone's fiance, I'm not someone's girlfriend. It's a different ball game if I let you in my home or let you around my man. So I really don't really want to, like, I wouldn't bring a third party in unless that's something that he really wanted. If he want, if that's something that he wanted before we get married, then okay, we probably can try that, but. Uh, after we get married, that's dead. The dick is mine. I'm sorry. <laughs> the dick is already mine, but that shit, I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh uh. Uh uh. But, like I said, I'm bisexual, so I'm, I'm open minded. I'm not like. I'm not going to be like that with him if that's something he, if, especially if it's something he ain't never had. I would, I would try to give it to him, but I would have to pick the female. We would both have to pick the female. Yeah, that's that's one thing, because me and Shorty was talking about it. She saying she was down, but one thing she was saying, like, yeah, I got to find a bitch. I'm not just about to let you send me no bitch off of Instagram. That's <laughs> no, what she was saying. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. You got to make sure, because one thing, like, what if the girl like you? <laughs> You feel uh, what I'm saying? And she going to be all about you. And then your girl going to be sitting there look like the third party. Like, you can't. Over, it's about y'all. Y'all are one. Shorty over there like, yeah, preach. I'm being honest because I've been in these situations. So, at the end of the day, like, I've been on both sides of the shoes. Okay? So, at the end of the day, I know how. I'm a woman. I know how another woman going to feel. So, I'm not going to sit there and just be all about y'all. You feel what I'm saying? When y'all a couple. Because that's going to start some some stagnant right there. That's going to cause some issues. Like, So a female coming in, she all about Q. Oh, what's going on? What you knew her before me? Uh, before um you brought her here or something? Like, she all about you? Like, it's just you in here. What, I'm a ghost? I'm just the one? <laughs> Damn, Q. I'm not with none of that. She better be over here sucking both of us. On her knees, both of us got our legs open, and she right there going back and forth, back and hey, forth. Hey, yo, Q, hey, yo, Q, you got one, dummy. <laughs> Hit the round of applause one more time. Yo, say, yo, say the round of applause. <laughs> yeah, Q. Hey, yo. Black power. Yes, sir. <laughs> I ain't playing with you. <laughs> hey, yo, Q is like the, is the nigga I want to be like type shit. I'm going to have a cool. Listen, listen. Oh, listen, one thing I realized the other day. Because our relationship ain't perfect. No relationship's perfect. Hell no. And we said this last time. Yeah. But one thing I learned, 
is you got to have God in your relationship. Both of y'all got to love God. God God is love, you feel me? And if you have God and you love him and you love God, nothing. You love God, shorty? We good. Listen, we good. I know, I know my, I, listen, it's just, I don't know. It's just, I know he love God. I love God. I know God brought us together. This relationship is so of God. Like you call yourselves Christians? Yes, I'm a Christian. He was born Jehovah. His family is Jehovah. He believes in God, but he's not a Je- he he can explain that to you, but he's not a Jehovah's witness. Okay? He he's just a man of God. Did I explain that right, baby? Yeah, <laughs> thumbs up. Two thumbs up. We good. Okay. Yeah, I I wouldn't me personally like I wouldn't really call myself a Christian cuz I mm-hmm. feel like that's hella limiting like I wouldn't call myself a Christian just because, like, Christianity specifically was was brought up in, in a certain decades of years when it was like, we trying to make y'all obey your masters type shit. Now, I do know the origin of it, but because how I was raised and what my beliefs done for me in the hard times, you know, from me reading the Bible, me praying, talking to him, and he came through for me. I had my own testimonies where I just, that's just my belief. You feel me? Yeah. I'm not going off the belief with the the white man ain't teach me that. My father taught me about the word. You feel Hell me? Yeah. So at the end of the day, my <laughs> father my father definitely be asked me on a regular like, how is your prayer life? Mm. He definitely be asked me that. So how I is feel your him. prayer life? Okay, that's that's I've never heard nobody ask you that. But listen, prayer prayer is just you just talk. Just talk to God. This, your, this, he this made your own, you. He, he a personal therapist. Yeah, he made you. So he, you ain't got to, it's no specific way of praying, y'all. You, you just talk saying? to you him just like. You talk to him, God. Blah, 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 blah. You just talk to him. Like, you yo, God, saying? niggas fucked up down here. If you want to <laughs> curse, if you that upset. I be cursing He made you just when you just say God forgive me. You feel what I'm saying? Cause you're not supposed to use His name in vain. You're not supposed to curse. You no. feel what I'm saying? But just say God forgive me. You know. But He made you. He's not gonna be. He not gonna forsake you for being upset. You're talking to Him. Yeah. It was an ancient Greek religion that was like. It was like no matter what type of religion you are, like if your God doesn't understand the sh- the life that you go through, then mm-hmm. you shouldn't be worshiping them type shit. Mm. Wow. Well, I believe my God understands everything we go through because God made us. No cap. So. One more time. Q, this for you too. This for you too in the back. You that nigga, Q. I need to, I need to, I need, I need, I need to look at your fucking notes, nigga. I need, <laughs> <laughs> I need that shit right there, nigga. Hey, I'm going to be real with you, yo. Like, on some real stuff. It starts at home. Yeah. It starts at home how you raised, you know, and just your beliefs and all that. Because at the end of the day, you know, you know what you was taught. You know what I'm saying? Forget what the world try to teach you. Forget what society, forget what your friends think. Forget what everybody else think. And there go my mask. I left my mask here. And you <laughs> left your mask here for real? Yeah, my mask here right there. Damn, that's just still over That's there. a hurricane mask. That's my mask. Oh, hell no. <laughs> that was last month. That shit, John. <laughs> This John, you ain't realize that shit. What the fuck? <laughs> he ain't say nothing about it. I was just talking to this nigga like last week. But yeah, that's that's my man. So I left it here. But make sure um, you take that shit with you. I I do believe. Uh, what was I saying? That that threw me off saying my man said. We talking about religion and in your relationships. Okay, yeah, I know that. <laughs> you were saying like, uh, fuck. How you were brought up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I feel like Thank it starts you, home. Thank you. I feel like it starts home for real. That's that's my thing, how you brought up your beliefs and everything. I feel like it starts home because at the end of the day, you know what you were taught. You know right from wrong. We all grown. Forget what everybody else think about you. Forget what society tells you because I've been, I've been there. <laughs> I've been there where I felt like I needed to keep up with social media, what I seen on social media and certain friends and stuff like that. When the whole time I'm hurting myself trying to keep up with everybody else. You no know cap. what I'm saying? Like, and the people you trying to keep up with ain't even paying you no mind. Like, it just be dumb for real. Like, I just feel like at the end of the day, just just go with your heart. Go with what you believe in. Can I, be ask you. You, can I ask you a question about Q? Yeah. Is he a football fan? Yes. 
And he likes the Ravens. I love looking at his hat. Like, nigga, look like he getting paid to wear that hat. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, that's that's the that, no, that's his head. He likes the Ravens. Yo, how you feel about the Ravens, yo? Come come talk in the door, crack. Oh my god. Tattoo of the yes, Ravens? he did, and he got the Orioles, Orioles on him. The Orioles? Yeah, hey, the it's Orioles? My, it's my city, man. I represent my city, man. Period, 4 what? Body more, murder land. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this nigga knocked over the camera. Fuck it. Yo, he lit back there. Off that Corona. I'm not That, that little Corona got him <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> hey, yo. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I used I used to fuck with this girl. I used to drink beer. I just couldn't get with it. Like I just couldn't get with it. When I first started drinking, me and my homegirls used to drink um, Steel Reserve and gin. Oh hell no! And we was like 12, 13 drinking this. 12, 13. <laughs> we was bad. As shit. Y'all was some badass kids. We used to smoke weed and put visines in our eyes before we go in the house. And then my uh, my god sister Tashina, she used to put orange juice in her Steel Reserve. <laughs> this nigga used to do that shit. That's why he laughing, baby. <laughs> Come on, that's how mixed that she need a chaser. Like it's Bill. <laughs> what you talking about? Girl crazy. Yo, I'm dead. I'm not gonna lie. Ever since our last podcast and we was talking about the Gooch, mm-hmm. she already been going to work. Baby, I'm fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey y'all, no! <laughs> Don't say she been going to work. <laughs> tell me, tell me, it's a lot of young girls out here listening to this right now. Mm-hmm. Tell me, tell me, what's the twenty twenty one version of how to get your man to feel satisfied? The twenty one version. Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one version. Um, the satisfy your man. Okay, you talking about just in bed, right? Just in bed. We only talking about sex. So if you under 18, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Click off, you nasty ass fucking underage ass child. Just do whatever he say. Be nasty, bitch. Oh, shit. Be nasty. Be the nastiest bitch he ever fucked. You hear me? Don't say no. If he want to fuck you in his a- in your ass, in his ass. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, unless he want it. But look. Q stood up. No, no, no. We ain't. I know, babe. We ain't playing in his booty hole. He don't play that. Stop but playing my man's Q. <laughs> Stop playing with my man. But no, like, if, okay, for instance, if you're not used to anal, get anal ease. They have anal ease. What is get, that? It's, it's a lubricant. You put that on your butt. You get you some anal beads and some anal plugs, okay? You use that, the anal ease is going to numb your butt. And you you basically train your ass with the anal beads and the um and the um what you call it? The the the, the butt plug. Shut up. And butt the butt plug. plug. Yes. They have uh, butt plugs. It, it looked like it looked like a little toy. All you do is uh, they got different sizes. You can start off with the small one and work your way up the stretch sure, the ass. You know what he's talking about? You know what she's talking about? So they got that. So you could. So like I said, you you're not used to anal. Also, when you doing anal, don't try to ride them. Don't don't you you just starting. Take your time. Do it on the side. On the side. Yeah, do it on the side so he can get in there. And my, me, my preference, I insert the dick myself. Ooh, what the fuck? I did not want to hear your preference. Okay, I insert the dick myself. I take my time putting it in there. If it's talking to her, I'm like, hold up, nigga. Oh, hold up. Yeah, she be doing that. She be doing that. And I continue to put until I get it in there. Once I feel like it's comfortable, I might have to add some more anal ease. Add some more lube. You know, get it nice and lubricant and so, numbness and... Get in there. Once you in there. So are you about to tell Shorty to get in the anal? I'm telling, you said the 20, I'm telling all the young girls, all the women that's watching this how to do anal. Also, another anal. way to do it, ladies, okay, you can warm up a banana and put a banana in your butt. What? <laughs> a banana? <laughs> yes. Now, this is the Mexican way. I'm being real. You warm up a banana and you put the banana in your butt. How long you put the banana in the microwave? I didn't know. You just want to warm it up, maybe for like 10 seconds, <laughs> 10 something seconds. like that. 
Uh, so it could be warm to go. You don't want no cold banana going in your ass. That shit gonna hurt. Shorty, write this down. And you put it, it when I was warm, it's gonna <laughs> moisture it and you know, it's gonna smush into your ass. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, hey, you, do? you gonna you do? have to you gonna have to clean very properly afterwards, but that's the way of doing it. I never did the banana, I did the butter. Butter? That was my next one. You can Yo, warm up butter. Don't know what that bitch like. <laughs> <laughs> You can warm up butter, okay? Now, next subject, with your mouth, okay, ladies? Suck that dick. Oh, my God. Stop being scared to suck dick. Like, okay, you need to breathe, okay? Another thing, all right, yeah, niggas like the deep throat, but you know how you get them niggas? What's that? That dickhead. That dickhead. Oh, that's what you be doing. That dickhead, you got to... Stroke that motherfucker while you suck it. Oh, you nasty Tickle motherfucker. that motherfucker. You okay? <laughs> Shorty is nasty. She was already doing that shit. Okay, play with his balls. That, uh, go on there, motherfucker. You got to suck that dick, okay? <laughs> Don't be afraid. Put your neck into it. Suck it. Go. Uh, neck? Suck it. Put girl, listen. If you listen, you gotta be nasty, bitch, and make sure you look at that nigga and talk to that nigga and make noises when you're doing it. And then when you go down, all the way down that mouth, real nice and wet, you hum. You say, mmm. That, go on them balls and say, mmm. You nasty motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you a nasty Lick mother- around them balls. <laughs> Suck on them balls, then you lick that gooch, okay? So you stand with me tonight. This is what you do, okay? This is what you do, ladies. See, these young niggas, they ain't used to that. But Hell that's no. why they be fucking with these older bitches because when we hey, get them. I'm a young nigga. When older bitches about. get them, we be doing the most, you feel me? Because we know what to do. So listen, young woman. Listen, young woman. You writing this down? Suck that dick, <laughs> all right? Suck that dick and listen. Stop drinking so much too. I learned that you can't unless it okay. When it gotta be, you gotta learn your alcohols because certain alcohols dries out. Mm-hmm. I don't know if everybody experienced that, but I have. So pay attention to the liquor that you drink if you wanna have sex on a drunk night because it can dry you out, ladies. Yeah. You may be horny, but it could dry you out. All right. Mm-hmm. Um. Also, what type of liquor dry you out like that? Me personally, I would say, uh, let me see, what kind of liquor? like gin, tequila, like white liquor, no, not goose though. Goose never did that to me, mm. but like tequila, when I have tequila, gin, um, salinac. So, do Costa, so for all the young kids out there that's just turning 21 drinking Casamigos, all that shit, do that I make never your had, shit dry? I, I can't say that because I never had Casamigos. You never had it? No, I'm talking about like Patron and and and, and what's the other Tango Ray or whatever it's yeah. called. Stuff like that. Like just be everybody's different. Nobody is the same. Everybody body is different. Oh, you shit. know, you got some women out here who probably can drink uh E and J like this. Like myself. But I'm not gonna drink see, like me, I don't drink this every day. So this not gonna really affect me. If I was like this was my liquor, this will affect my body. That's what I'm saying. Pay attention to what you drink because it can affect our body, our pH balance. That's all I'm saying. Carizzle? Yes. pH. Certain soaps, all that ter- knocks off our pH balance, start giving our vagina. We, our vaginas go through a lot, okay? we It goes through a lot. You agree, shorty? She agreed. Kid. It goes through a lot, honey. It goes through a lot. So you just got to know your body, ladies. Start paying attention to your body, you know, um... Another thing, um, start paying attention to what your man like when you are, when you are sexually active with him. What 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 makes his toes curl when you hear him moan? You know, pay attention and Surely keep doing know. that shit. Shorty got that shit down to a goddamn black keep and white doing people. That shit. You know I what pay I'm attention. About Q. You know what I'm talking about, Q. <laughs> Shorty got that down to notes. <laughs> science over this bitch. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, what they say, chemistry is science. Shout out to Wap, man. She's the baddest bitch I know. She's the only bitch I know. I don't know no other girl. I never fuck no other bitches. All that. No other bitches. I never fuck <laughs> nobody. She my first he body. Said, no other bitches. Yeah, all that. All that shit. Oh. <laughs> I say that 
that shit every time. It better be true. We gonna beat you up. All right, chill. No. Basti. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know no other bitches. I don't know nobody else. So tell me how you go. How you go about if like. So say if you got a nigga mm-hmm. and you on Instagram one day just scrolling through your girl's Instagram story and you see that nigga on her your homegirl Instagram story, what you gonna do? You talking about okay, you saying me, I'm on Instagram and I see Q on somebody Instagram? Before y'all married, we're not talking about marriage. But like right now, engaged. No, we're not talking about engaged. We talking about girlfriend boyfriend type shit. Like when we first started dealing. Cause with y'all each other, the, to me personally, y'all the only niggas that I know that's engaged. I don't know nobody that. So you saying when, like I said, when me and him, cause we was dating, we was dating before. Okay. We, it ain't just oh, okay. it wasn't yes. like that. That's so you I'm saying talking. around that time, if yeah. I if I went on my Instagram and I seen it, I'm okay. First of all, he I never brought him around none of my friends around that time. But like not even so, any, not even any of your friends, just like period. Another, if it was just another female, I'm gonna be real. Um, at that time, how would I have carried it? I would not really said nothing to him if I did. If I didn't know the girl, I wouldn't have said nothing to him because how our relationship was when I met him. You feel what I'm saying? But at the same time, how was the relationship when you first met him? See, hold on. You could. I mean, you me. you can just say no comment type shit. Like, no, 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 no. How we was just fucking around. Like, it wasn't that serious. That's a good but enough when we reason. Saw, but okay, so you saying when I started getting serious with him yeah, type but, shit before did you, we got. Did you, all right, before we get there, did you ever feel like it was a period where like you felt like you was taking him serious, but he just wasn't on that time yet? Yeah. All right. I did. Tell me, tell me about that time. Um, we was going out to eat. We was. <laughs> We was getting something to eat from Silver I'm looking Moon. at Q. He, he know what I'm talking about. Now he over that bitch smiling like, yeah. We was going to get something to eat from Silver Moon. And, um. We just started phone. going to smell. We just started going to Silver Moon. Then Martin Luther King. Yeah. yeah we just started going to Silver Moon. I like that food. That's, that's He started taking me to that spot. So we started going there. We went there one night. Like I said, we was going there one night getting some food. And his phone went off. His notification went off. He was in the store at the time, and I just seen the text message. I seen the name. So oh, wait, 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 I asked wait, wait, him, wait, like, what's wait, up wait. with it? Wait, before you go any further, he was in the store, and he left his phone. Like, mm-hmm. I know, I, Q, I know how that feel when you feel like you trust shorty so much, but come to the come to the door. Come to the door. He <laughs> can't get him in trouble. <laughs> I was already, I had already made my mind up. She ain't no, but I, I had already made my, I ain't had nothing to hide. I had already cut them off. They were just trying to get back. That's what I'm saying. Q know what I'm talking about. Q, you literally took the words out of my mouth, nigga. Yo, surely sure know what I'm talking about. Q, I know what you're talking about. So go ahead. <laughs> so yeah, that that's what happened. Um, she ended up texting the phone or whatever. And when bitch. she texted them, she texted them something that I didn't know about. So I felt some type of way. So I'm like, how she know about this? You feel what I'm saying? I'm around. You ain't tell me this. Like, why you ain't tell me this? Bye, bye, bye. Or whatever. So I just told him, like, he had to make a decision right there. Like, if he really wanted right to fuck with me. Right then and there? Yeah, if he, want, if, if he really was trying to fuck with me, let me know. Block her. Like, the fuck she still texting your phone for? She your ex. And you, you like you basically said like fuck with me or block that bitch. Fuck with me and block that bitch or fuck with that bitch and don't fuck with me. Mhm. Damn, Q. You gotta come to the door, nigga. I don't he said she was already out the picture. Yeah, she was already out the picture, so that was easy. That was that was an easy fix, right there. Yeah, I felt I felt that, bro. I felt that when I was when I first started fucking with her, she literally sent me a picture of another bitch, like yo, who this bitch type shit. And I was like, yeah, like, I picked you type shit. Like, so I'm cute. I know what you're talking about. I mean, we understand all that. You feel me? I get it. Like I said, we just need that assurance. Now, if the bitch kept coming, then I would have to go for her type shit. You feel me? You but I never go. Bitch. I never go for a woman. I'm always go to my man first. That's why I didn't, like, answer the phone or, like, call her now. I wasn't doing none of that. You feel what I'm saying? Because even at that time, we was just starting to build. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I just need to know where I stand in his life at that time. Like, is you really trying to fuck with me? Because around this time, we was with each other, like, every day. Like, so what's going on? You know, when I see this, like, I was like, huh? 
Q, Q know how I feel when I look that shorty just now. Q know how I feel. How long we been on, shorty? 44 minutes. 44 minutes. So it's the last minute. Yes, sir. We out this bitch. Uh, <laughs> talking about some other shit tonight. We talking about some whole. I told whole, you bitches how to suck dick. <laughs> how to how to how to eat that pussy. Talked about my business. Look, my party come out. I said my party come out. Mm. This part, this this ain't even going to be out before thanks the day after Thanksgiving, is it? Um, uh, this this Monday. I'll I'll school some shit around, so you should be out this Monday. All right. Well, hold on. Let me go live real quick. Let me go live real quick. Yeah, I'll school some shit around. Wow, for the most part. Yeah, oh, you, they ain't you, 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 you blocked from sharing the live. Why? Who, me? What the fuck I do? But they go Instagram. <laughs> anyway, I'm um, sorry, guys. Anyway, um, yeah. They always on that bullshit. Motherfuckers don't want me to be great, but make sure y'all follow me at Next Level Passionate's Clubhouse. Her Instagram is going to be in the bio. All you got to do is hit a link, and you're going to be at her Instagram. Period. If you look through all her followers, nigga, you gonna find Q somewhere. When you find a nigga Instagram, he gonna like the. He ain't got no um Instagram. He, he don't, don't got do a, that. He don't got an Instagram. He don't do social media. That's why I married him. Yo, Q is a murderer. I'm starting to think that. He don't got an Instagram. Like any I don't, I don't know about how I feel about a nigga that don't got an Instagram. Like I don't know. He don't do social media. He don't do none of that type of stuff. See, if I wasn't a rapper or like a podcast type nigga, I probably wouldn't have an Instagram either type shit. What not? What I showed you? Sure, you know. So, I got. I just some got people some. just not into that. Like my dad, you know, he's not into all that technology type stuff. Some people just not into that type stuff. Um, Can I pick this up? I didn't mean to pick that. Yeah, you put that back. Um, <laughs> shout out to Q. Um, passionate Thanksgiving. You know where to go. Her Instagram is in the bio. This Friday, tickets twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. That is a good price, nigga. I brought two of them. I like. But after that, the next the next event will be New Year's and then my birthday party. You want to do New Year's? Yeah, I'm doing a New Year's Eve party. It's gonna be a glow in the dark thing, body paint. Cause we gonna be in we gonna be in ATL when you are doing the Thanksgiving shit. That's why I come pull up. Oh, cool ATL, cool. Yeah, I got some interviews scheduled up type shit. So. Okay, that's what's up. That's a big move, bro. That's what's up. It's a, it's some it's some it's some business shit. Like that's why we going out there. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I'm having one for New Year's, and then I'm having my birthday party on the 21st of January. 21st And now January. the party, the birthday party is going to be kind of different than from my actual events because it's a party. So we're going to have games. We're going to have a com- com- comics there. We're going to have live. I'm just saying, like, me and Shorty trying to take home a bitch. Like, that's all we said. Y'all do what y'all want to do. Y'all grown. <laughs> And then there's gonna be so many people there at my birthday party. Like I can't wait. My birthday party gonna be a movie, y'all. Me and Shorty, me and Shorty like fucking them hoes. Um, you need to stop fucking hoes. I'm sorry. That maybe that's just me. Don't fuck hoes. (laughs) Never mind. I take that back. Cute, cute. Help me. (laughs) I fucking caught myself, didn't I? God damn. Mm, mm, mm. Don't be like him, yo. <laughs> God damn, Q. You should have you should have came here like stop me type shit. You know who K Rock is? Who? K Rock, the comedian. Uh, Never heard of him. Uh, is uh, he from Baltimore? Yeah. He's gonna be um doing stand up at my birthday party. I'm trying to get a uh, girl he funny as well and maybe Shay Shay. You gotta send Shay me Shay those. the comedian. You trying? You trying to send me those Instagrams? I'm trying. To I got them. you. I got you. You oh. trying to interview them? Oh, they would love that. I'm trying to interview them. I will. They would love that. I got you. I the only them. thing so far, I interview you. I interview some rappers and I interview some producers. That's all the type of people I've. Interviewed. Now see, this the thing. Now if if I send them your way, I want to interview with you. Duh. Duh. All right. Say you're the, no more. You're the, you're the middle man. Like, you get anything you want Say no shit. more. Say no more. I want to be here, too. If I, we can be here. They yeah, not, I they, got some questions, too, my nigga. They probably not going to feel <laughs> They probably not gonna feel comfortable unless you're here, so it will be better if you was here type shit. Not necessarily, but, I, I, yeah, I want to be here, too, just because I want to be here. I want to ask some questions. I want to be a part of it. All right. How long we on? We got to go. We in 49. We good. All right. So... If in the future type shit, you can look for passionate Instagram. You can look for her shit Thanksgiving. 
She gonna have a podcast on here on a. You gonna have a podcast on a Blase Network? Yes, sir. Fuck, I can't wait. I'm excited. Yes. yes. Um, we gonna have a podcast here. She got some shit coming out. Her Instagram gonna be in the bio. Go go buy a ticket type shit. It's gonna be lit Thanksgiving. It's gonna be bitches with fat asses, and then after that, you can, you can go get some turkey type shit. You yeah, I, mean? I got and I, I got food there. Come get your turkey. You gonna have Thanksgiving dinner at the shit? Yeah, I'm always I always cook. I'm having turkey wings, stuffing and gravy, and um cranberry sauce. <laughs> That's all y'all get. <laughs> Shorty, you ain't shit for that. <laughs> what I should have? What some macaroni and cheese? I don't like macaroni and cheese. She liked it, that shit. I don't know. I I really ain't want to do because opening night I did a lot. I, I did uh I did uh string beans, I did potato salad, I did meatballs, I did um honey um obey wings and then I did barbecue wings. Yeah, you did too much. I did a lot. So this time I'm doing turkey wings, gravy, stuffing, and cranberry sauce. Everybody gonna be coming from Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm sure ain't nobody gonna really going to eat That's that what I'm much saying. anyway. You said, you said that shit started at like 11, right? Mm-hmm. Just texting you some turkey niggas, wings home while you niggas, drunk. Niggas gonna, be, drunk niggas gonna be having fucking. <laughs> niggas, gonna, niggas already at 11 o'clock. Niggas already gonna have that place in the fr- fr- refrigerator from Thanksgiving dinner type yeah, shit. Yeah, but like, they ain't had my te- they ain't had my Thanksgiving. Ayo, Q, fuck them niggas, right? <laughs> you know how I feel, but um, thank you, thank you for pulling up again. I'm ex- Already, thank you for having me. It was it's, it's it's very exciting to talk to you type shit. Already, I love being here. I love coming through. I'm very interested in everything you do, and I would love to keep having you here type shit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but um, shout out to Q in the back. He the realest nigga I met. And Wapinator. Ayo, 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 Q, <laughs> ayo, Q. If I stop breathing tomorrow, nigga, you gonna be the realest nigga on earth. You know what I'm talking about. No cap. <laughs> no cap. But uh, we out this bitch. Passionate. Follow her Instagram in the bio. Um, Q don't got an Instagram, so don't ask for his. Wap on the ones or twos. Hit the cash button. Um, and we out this bitch. Um, that's pretty much. You can end it. We out this bitch. Fuck.